Hi, I'm Corey Hartman, and I'm the mechanical engineering lead for the Dell R910. And we're here to show you a few things about the R910 uh, that you might not know just by reading the uh, website or the spec sheet. Uh, particularly, we want to show you how our engineering team was able to lay out this architecture and design the R910 and, and all the customer benefits that come from that, including customer manageability, ease of access, and all the thermal and power to cool benefits you get from that. <clears throat> we specifically place the, the hard drives, the memory, and the fans and CPUs in locations to, uh, to achieve uh, best-in-class goals. And I'll let Dominic uh, describe some of the uh, thermal details. Sure. So, looking at the architecture of the R910, um, you know, talking about what, what Corey just alluded to, which is uh, component placement, that is really uh, driven by thermal requirements. So we need uh, fresh air inlet to the, the memory and processors. So looking at the memory riser, um, the memory sits directly above the processors. What this allows us to do is get fresh air into the, into the memory, fresh air into the processors, to minimize the amount of airflow needed to cool the, these components. So the memory isn't preheating the processors, and the processor isn't preheating the memory. Um, what this allows us to do is reduce the, the fan speeds. It also gives us a, a large amount of cooling capability. So this chassis has the capability to support you know, uh, component powers well above what we currently are shipping with. We really future-proof the product for the customer. Right. So looking at the, at the mid cha mid middle of the chassis, we have our fans placed here. Six high-efficiency fans developed for Dell for this product matched to the impedance of the system. Um, we have custom heat sinks also Dell designed. Um, the, the fan control that we use for these fans is Dell designed algorithms that, that use component temperatures to predictably determine what the fan speed should be. This allows us to reduce the fan speeds significantly and save a lot of fan power for the customer. Um, after the fans we've got an exhaust perforation that's really opened up to allow us to get optimum amount of airflow out of this chassis. And uh, I'll let Tony discuss the acoustic benefits of the R910. Okay, the, uh, actually the architecture for the R910 lends itself to actually um, eliminate a lot of the uh, direct line of, no line of sight type noise that we used to have with the predecessor. Before we had the fans mounted up front, now we have the fans mid chassis. Um, the, uh, the loading that's really applied across the, really the open section of the, uh, the fans is more uniform. Um, really the upper is, is dominated more by the, uh, the DIMS, the riser, and the, the CPU loads the lower portion of the fan. Um, that benefits for, for sound power. Right, so, so really the, the sound power values that we, we get for a machine like this are one-tenth of the predecessors for the, the R900. So theoretically mount 10 of these and it'll give you the same acoustics as, as one of the predecessor R900s. So this is a very quiet machine for such a high power and high density type box. <coughs> Mechanically, we did a lot of things to, uh, to help out uh, the, to get the design goals for uh, Tony and, and Dominic. And we didn't just stop at trying to meet some spec. We, we looked at every part of the box to try and squeak out a little more efficiency by here and there. Just small features that you can see like in the geometry of the memory shrouding. All this was done uh, with the intent to get cold air where it needed to be and help keep that fan speed as slow as possible. Uh, small seals and shrouds to prevent recirculation around the processors, all done that helps drive down the fan speeds. <clears throat> Dominic alluded to the rear uh, design of the chassis. And what you'll see is a die cast rear wall combined with a uh, sheet metal structure. And we chose this die cast material so that we could get both mechanical strength and still get perforations in the same areas that we get mechanical strength. All this lets the system breathe easier. All this lets us drive the fans at lower speeds, again, saving the customer money in power to cool and improving the system's acoustics. <clears throat> the team really got, got the opportunity to, to, to lay this system out in a very thoughtful manner. So it's, it's very easy access. If a customer needs to access DIMMS, you simply go and, and press the button, and this mechanism gives you 
uh, ejection of the module. We have markings on each each riser, so you can see exactly which dim number you need to get to if you need to change a dim. <coughs> Fans are clearly labeled. Uh, we have labeling on the chassis that's a quick map to anything in the system. <coughs> Uh, fans obviously are, are hot swap and uh, the PCI area is easily accessible. <coughs> Another big part of our layout was the was the cabling. We designed this system because we wanted with with cabling in mind, we wanted the cabling to stay out of the way and not get damaged by servicing other components, yet it's still easy to get to. So we've put specific features around every required cable so that it holds it in, in place where it starts and where it ends. <clears throat> All these benefits are for uh, ease of use, uh, ease of management, uh, easy to upgrade, and on top of that, we wanted to make sure we use robust materials. <clears throat> so you can see that the memory card uses a sheet metal carrier with a very robust uh, shrouding scheme and a door that protects the dims. Uh, a, a mechanism that gives you a, a four to one mechanical advantage, <clears throat> so you don't have to exert any force and uh, uh, mating the connectors. Our fan bay <coughs> is a large structure with die cast handles that allows you to pull the whole fan bay out. <coughs> so within within a few seconds, you can you can pull out memory or fans and access any component in the system that you that you may need to. The versatility was also designed for this chassis. It can be configured in a four drive or a 16 hard drive system, and that can be quickly converted. This system is, is as shown as a 16 drive, and our PCI area can be expanded. Currently, we have a seven PCI slots shown with the ability to put double wide cards <coughs> in some of the slots. And if a customer chooses, we can remove <coughs> this plate and put in a riser cage so the customer can easily and quickly change <coughs> to a, a, a 10 slot system with the ability to put in low profile cards which some customers desire. <clears throat> All these features make end up being a, a very robust chassis with top notch materials used throughout and uh, a very easy layout uh, so customers can easily access any component of the system on top of our great thermal and acoustic and power cool performance. So we, we look forward to people checking out the R910 and uh, look for more information on Bill's website around March 30th.